Hey guys, it's Ted from OAX Ray, and today we're going to be going over how to scout on ToysRUs.com using OAX Ray and my strategies for finding profitable items. So, whenever you get to the main page, first thing I'm going to do is uh, look at the scrolling pictures right here. Generally, they're going to tell you if there's anything good on sale. Whenever I scroll through, I see the Yummy Nummies on sale, but generally those have expiration dates. But so I'm not sure what those are so um, I don't want to take the risk today and get something that might be too close to expiration to send to Amazon FBA so what I'm gonna do is just go to clearance and I'll say clearance all and see what comes up so it looks like there's over 2,000 results here so what I'm gonna do is kick up my results per page to 96 and see what happens Whenever you increase your results per page, it's going to take a little bit longer for OAX Ray to run since there's so many more data points that it needs to fill in. But I'm going to put it up to 96 per page and click for page one. Now, while that information is running, I'm going to go back to Toys R Us and I'm going to go to the next page so I can run two or three different pages at once and just kind of let everything go while I'm navigating. This is what I generally do. I let one page populate as I am navigating to the next. So I'll go three pages ahead and see if I can find anything profitable. My internet connection's a little slow, so bear with me. This is all live. I haven't pre recorded this or anything like that. So, okay, we have three pages running now. Okay, so I let OAX Ray run for about 30 seconds, and this is what we come up with on the first page. First thing I'm going to do is look for ROI of anything above 30%, percent point three zero. Um, for the rank, I'm going to look. For anything under 150,000, you may have your own thresholds, so um, just use those at your discretion. For the discount, I'm putting 15%. The reason I put 15% here is historically, in my experience, I can generally get 15 or sorry, 10% off with gift cards, and I almost use exclusively gift cards on the websites. So um, I get 10% off there, plus I get 2% on my uh, credit card rewards plus I gen I get uh, forty percent sorry four percent back with the um, Toys R Us RS rewards program so on average it's about fifteen percent depending on what perks they have um, whenever I put in my rank and my ROI and my discount you're gonna notice the colors change a little bit that's because adding in the discount sometimes is gonna make items that had a negative ROI now have a positive ROI. Here I'm going to click my buys. It's going to get rid of a lot of um, different items. Now I have not looked at any of these yet so I'm just going to go with the first one and see what happens. Well, uh, let me go down a little bit and look for some other items. So looking at the screen um, I'm going to just kind of go through and see what items have a sales rank and a profitability um, that I can work with. Um, this bandage is a pack of six, so if I put a six here, let's see what happens. It might turn negative. Four dollars, pack of six. It actually might be a good one to look at. Let's see what happens. Click on Amazon. Click here. Okay, so it looks like this item sells for about 20 bucks. Um, it's Hello Kitty, Johnson & Johnson. And one thing that you want to be sure of if, is our that's important is this is a pack of six not a pack of one a 
Looks like I didn't look carefully. This does not have a sales rank, so I'm going to skip on this one. Um, and here I see actually an item that kind of looks good as I just kind of scroll through. And that is the Shopkins 14 inch backpack. So I'm going to click there, click there, and bring it up. Um, looking at the pictures, it looks like it does match exactly. Okay, $16.99 looks like it is free to ship from home. And whenever we go over to Amazon, looks like it's about $32 bucks here. Looks like everything is the same. For some reason, this seems to be in clothing. Let's see. Clothing, shoes, jewelry. Generally, backpacks are not in clothing, but it seems like this one is 32920 I'm approved in clothing, so if you're approved, then this is an item um, that you'd be able to purchase. But before I purchase any items, I will look at Keepa. Now, um, there's an extension. Uh, if you type in Keepa into the extension box, you might be able, you should be able to find this. And I see that the price is pretty stable. It's generally um, 27 to 25. Now, Keepa does not pr uh, track all prices. It only tracks the merchant fulfilled prices or the FBA price if the FBA price is the lowest. So it looks like it's been pricing the same um, person right here for a while. Okay, so before I would buy something like this, I would actually run it through the profit calculator and make sure everything is correct so I'm gonna save this ASIN and I'm gonna bring up the profit calculator so I did a quick Google search and found the Amazon profit calculation calculator and this looks like the item I want to do I'm gonna try to sell it for 32 bucks hit calculate see what I make Looks like the fulfillment cost are $7.56. Um, one trick I like to use is instead of prep service, instead of putting that there, I'm actually going to put the price of the item and see what I'm actually gonna make. So it's selling for $16.99. Whenever I actually, let me see with the, the application took into the account the $15, 15% 15 um, off that I'm gonna be getting. So instead of paying $16.99, let's pull up a quick calculator. $0.85. is what I will be paying once I get all my discounts and everything. So here we go. Um, we're going to spend about $14.45 after all our discounts and our cash back and everything. And we're going to make $9.99. So it looks like we have about a 66% margin on this item if we sell it at um, a price of $32. Um, so there we go. We found an item that is 66%. One of the benefits is this is being sold in clothing. So what that means is you're not going to have as much competition because not everybody is approved in clothing. So this is an item. If I were to find it, I might buy a couple of them to see how it sells. And if the price stays where it or where it is right now, it looks like it's pretty stable. Um, it might be a good item to keep reselling. One thing you want to notice here is um, Toys R Us has uh, forty nine dollars. You get free shipping after forty nine. So if I were buying this item alone, I'd order at least four so I can get the free shipping. If um, I found other items, I might buy one or two of these, send them in, and see how they sell. Some other things you might want to do is if you find an item, sometimes there will be duplicate listings. So I'm going to copy before I buy it. Make sure that I don't find anything similar in a different department. just from doing a simple word search it seems like this is the only one available so looks like I've done all my research that I need to do I've looked at Keepa 
the price seems to be stable. Um, can't guarantee what's going to happen in the future, but um, you want to do your due diligence. Whenever we type in the name, we do not see any other listings that are similar or that are lower ranked. We made sure that we're approved in the category, and we made sure that with the actual FBA fees on the FBA revenue calculator that it made sense and that we're going to make profit. Next thing to do is to buy it. So we put this item in our cart or if you already have gift cards on the books then you just use your gift cards. If not, you go to a website that sells gift cards. I like raise.com and we'd purchase the gift cards and then purchase this. Uh, this would not be the end of the scouting journey. Right now we see a whole bunch of items that have a positive ROI and we just go through one by one, figure out which ones are profitable, find as many items as we can, and buy what makes sense. Thank you very much. Have a good day.